How's your LinkedIn headline looking? It's a simple 120 character statement about yourself, but a lot can be said and lost in those 120 characters. Today, we're gonna to look at LinkedIn headlines that have impact in the hospitality industry. Hey, it's Leanne from conferencesource.net and I hang my hat over on LinkedIn. I mean, there's so much great content and the connections there are unbelievable. And the first thing that people see when they click on one's LinkedIn profile is their headline. It's kind of like the elevator speech to the rest of your profile. And a lot can be done with those 120 characters. And so today we're gonna look at some great examples from people in the hospitality industry that have fantastic headlines and you might be able to find some ways to tweak your headline that will just be a bit more interesting to your reader. So let's dig in. By default, LinkedIn uses your job title as your headline, but you have the opportunity to edit it by clicking on this button here, which I've shown you in my profile. Now let's look at some headlines that maybe could use a little bit more pizzazz or even some clarity about what their role actually is. And I'm gonna pick on my, my business partner, Stephen Ng. Now he works with me over at Conference Direct and he is indeed my business partner, but you can't really get a sense of what it is he does by his job title. Now, conversely, there are some great people over at Conference Direct who have spent a little bit more time on their headlines and it really has made an impact and it really explains very clearly what they do. My colleague, Leslie Raycar out of the US, she's got a great LinkedIn uh, profile heading, uh, as well as my colleague, Lindsay Thule, she's out of uh, California. What a great headline, I love hers as well. And some local talent, we have both Jessica Brett and Joanne Henry here in Canada. Again, these all these people do the exact same thing for a living, but the way they've jazzed up their headline, it makes it a little bit more obvious what they do for the industry. Now, looking at some hotel and destination examples, a lot of people have the word meeting sales or hotel sales in their headline. And while it does communicate what they do, for people outside the industry, they might not actually know what that is. Um, conversely, my colleague Candace over at Tourism Saskatoon, who is in sales for Tourism Saskatoon, but her headline actually conveys what she does over at Tourism Saskatoon. So this is something my mother, who still doesn't know what I do for a living, this is something my mom can understand. So there's a lot of clarity in her specific job title. Now, if your job title doesn't have a lot of clarity, you can still jazz up your profile. And I'm taking a look at my connection, Amanda Zepier here. She's in hotel sales, but it's really clear what it is that she does and it entices you to learn a little bit more about her. I also have a colleague, Jennifer Spear. She's a speaker in the industry. Her headline is fantastic. I love her headline. So she spent a really good amount of time here making sure that it conveys what she does and it entices you to read more about her. Now some meeting planner examples. Did you know the words meeting planner is only 15 characters, which means you have over 100 characters still to spend on your headline. So here are some great examples of meeting planners in the industry who have taken some time to spruce up their headlines. Helen Van Dongen, I love her headline here. I just love how she's done the play on words. Sandy Byback, I love this one as well. It is so clear and it is so compelling and you just wanna to get to know Sandy a little bit better after reading this. And finally, my LinkedIn connection, Miriam. She's done a great job of updating her LinkedIn headline. I love what she's done here. So did these work? Did these headlines compel you to read more about the individual and learn more about them? Um, or conversely, do you have a great headline? I want you to show me your awesome sauce headline. So share it below or point me towards your LinkedIn profile so I can take a look. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you follow me on LinkedIn so you can see my videos each and every Tuesday. We hope you enjoyed. Have a great week. Bye for now.